I assure you this person is completely fine. Yes, a big truck is running him over, but it's not just any truck, it's a roller gun. What's that you might ask? In 1950, during his stay at a small village in the Bering Strait, William Alby witnessed Eskimos using partially inflated seal skin to easily move large quantities of meat across a terrain full of gravel and stones. Almost 15 years later, at the request of the Army Transportation Corps, William built the first roller gun and had his son run him over with it. Yeah, that sounds weird. The secret behind such a feat is of course in the tires, which are basically large, low-pressure air packs that distribute the vehicle's weight over a much larger surface area. Unlike regular wheels, a regular truck tire typically has a pressure of 100 pounds per square inch, while in the case of a roller gun, they only have about 2 to 6 pounds per square inch on average. That means the tires can deform and change shape around obstacles. Coupled with the vehicle's relatively slow speed to reduce impact forces, roller guns are one of the most impressive inventions ever made for off-road transportation. A roller gun's primary purpose is to access areas otherwise not so friendly to regular vehicles, namely marshes, tundra, and soft soil. Even though it appears harmless in such pictures, the people underneath are indeed feeling pressure to an extent. If I had to estimate it, assuming the roller gun weighs around 7,000 kilograms and has 6 tires, I would say the people under would be feeling like 200 kilos is over them, which is not the most pleasant feeling in the world, but it's also important to remember that the weight is evenly distributed all around their bodies, and the pressure is applied by large soft tires. 